I want to quote from an article written by Marie Amaro titled, What Does It Mean to Have High Expectations for Your Students? I quote, The term high expectations is now synonymous with Carol Dweck and her work on growth mindset. Your students will live up or down to your expectations. Student achievement is strongly affected by what the teacher expects of them, and this has been demonstrated by many educational researchers. The first and most famous experiment is known as the Pygmalion Effect. Researchers Robert Rosenthal and Lenore Jacobson conducted an experiment at a primary school where all the students sat for an intelligence test. The experimenters then gave the 18 teachers the names of the students who scored in the top 20%, telling them that this meant they showed exceptional potential and would achieve high results within the year. Unbeknownst to the teachers, these students were randomly selected and the testing showed no such prediction. When all students were tested again eight months later, the so-called gifted students performed significantly higher than the rest. End quote. Research conducted by Rosenthal and Jacobson, 1968. Welcome to episode 118 of the Teacher Rockstar Podcast, a place where tips and strategies critical to the new teacher are discussed. We share the latest educational research and best practices so that the new teacher can be better equipped for a successful classroom experience. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about ways that parents can help their child be successful in school. But first, a word from our sponsor. Are you a teacher fresh out of college beginning your first year in the classroom? Have less than five years of classroom experience? Well, if so, the Teacher Rockstar Academy course is for you. Learn from the mistakes that I've made when I first began teaching. Put my 20 years of experience to work for you. The Teacher Rockstar Academy is a three-module, 12-lesson course, which includes super cool bonuses, personal coaching, and much, much more. We also offer a 90-day money-back guarantee. You'll find that it is more than just another online course. I'll be with you every step of the way. Become the best version of yourself. Invest in yourself today. Enroll now at tra.teacherclassroomresources.com. Okay, let's dive right in. I'm going to share seven tips that parents can do to instill high expectations in your child. Okay, let's talk about why are high expectations so important. In the first place, establishing high, reasonable expectations uh, for your child is important in the respect that it makes a significant impact on their attitude and their self-esteem. Now, I want to discuss the difference between high expectations and unreasonable or high-pressure expectations because there is a difference. Now, this would be an example of a clear expectation. I expect you to study for 30 minutes a day. Okay, or I expect you to read one chapter in your novel every evening. Now, this would be an example of an unclear expectation. I want you to make the principal's list or the honor roll, or I want you to make straight A's on your next report card. Okay, these are high pressure expectations. Uh, I will say this that parents need to be empathetic and supportive of their child's struggles. Uh, Now, I want to focus on adopt a growth mindset. Uh, And what this means, well, it means focus on the value of the process rather than the outcome. You know, in other words, with a growth mindset, you focus on the effort of studying and learning. Not so much that, you know, hey, I want you to make straight A's on your next report card, okay? Uh, That's not a growth mindset. Now, a fixed mindset puts pressure on the final outcome, such as getting good grades or making the honor roll or getting perfect attendance, etc. Parents can support a growth mindset by emphasizing hard work as a, the key to academic success. Okay? Now, I want to address making expectations clear, realistic, and reasonable. For example, a reasonable expectation would be to, you know, I want you to work on your math problems, okay, every evening for say, 20 minutes. Or I want you to practice your math facts for 15 minutes every evening. Okay, those are examples of a clear high expectation. And of course, you know, an unreasonable high expectation or high pressure expectation might be, I want you to be 
top in your class. Okay. Now, encourage your child to always do their best. I mean, let's face it, not every child is going to be top of their class. Not every child is going to make it into Harvard. But you know something? Every single child can improve in their studies. Okay? Now let your child make mistakes. I mean, failure is an inevitable part of life. You know, I refer to these as learning opportunities. So as parents, we could offer support and encouragement. You know, things like have faith in your child's ability. Offer emotional support and be empathetic when stressed. Have conversations about their learning over dinner, in the car. I mean, at the dinner tables and it is a, a prime time to talk to your child about what's going on in school and what they're working on. Or maybe you're picking them up uh, after soccer practice or uh, after school daycare. Those are great opportunities to talk to your kids. Okay? Now, I want to go ahead and, and wrap it up, okay, uh, to kind of put it all together here. Okay? Expectations must be clear realistic, and reasonable. Number two, support your child as they work to reach their potential. Three, adopt a growth mindset. Okay. Impress upon your child to always do their best. Number five, let your child make mistakes. They are learning opportunities. Number six, offer support and encouragement. And certainly last but not least, be sympathetic. Discuss what your child is learning in school, okay? Well, this brings us to the end of this episode, and I hope you found a golden nugget uh, from the information presented. Feel free to reach out should you have any questions or comments about this episode. Also, if there is a topic that you would like for me to address, uh, talk about on the show, please shoot me an email. I would really appreciate that. All you have to do is email me at info at Steve Hiles Educational Resources dot education. I want to thank you for listening to the Teacher Rockstar podcast. I'm your host, Steve Hiles. When you get a moment, visit my blog and subscribe to my newsletter for the latest educational research, best practices, and unadvertised free bonuses. Go to blog.teacherclassroomresources.com. And don't forget to subscribe to us at the Teacher Rockstar Podcast. And if you'd like to support us, please feel free to share our podcast with others. Post about it on social media. And if you feel comfortable, leave a rating and review. That would always uh, be greatly appreciated. Thanks again. We'll see you same time, same place next week. And remember, my friend, you got this.